Hello everyone and welcome back to another Crucible tip video. In this video we'll be discussing weapon loadouts, subclasses and armor loadouts. Now I guarantee that these loadouts will help you win more competitive matches. Now here we are on my warlock and the first loadout I want to talk about is having an aggressive frame shotgun in the kinetic slot that's either a balligant, a botheration, or a toil and trouble. Now the aggressive frame shotguns are the best ones simply because they give you more consistency over the other shotguns. Now in the energy slot I use Luna's Howl but if you don't have Luna's Howl the trust is a great option. The inaugural address is also a great option and nature of the beast is also a great option. Any four of those guns works perfectly fine. Now in the heavy slot, I use the Wardcliffe Coil, but if you don't have the Wardcliffe Coil, the Tractor Cannon is a great option, so is the Colony, and so is the play of the game, and also a Rocket Launcher. But my Rocket Launcher is really bad, so I do not use that. Now my play of the game has Proximity Nades, Range Finder, and Rampage, so it just makes it a great Grenade Launcher overall. Any Grenade Launcher with Proximity Nades is incredibly powerful in the competitive playlist. Now here we have the second loadout which is an Ace of Spades, a Botheration, and a Play of the Game. For the Kinetic slot you can get away with using a Bygones as well. Now obviously now that you have the Bygones in the Kinetic slot now you have room for an Exotic in the Heavy slot which can be a Wardcliff Coil, a Tractor Cannon, a Two-Tailed Fox, a Colony anything that you want. Now the energy slot has a lot of options. I use the Botheration or the Somerled D because they are aggressive frame shotguns and they are the most consistent. You can also get away with using the Icolo shotgun, the Retold Tail, the Badlander and the Hand in Hand. Now here's a little hidden gem of mine, the Badlands MK24 which has full auto, accurized rounds and full choke. And if you don't already know, full choke is the best barrel perk you can get on a shotgun because it gives you the most consistency it's almost like shot package from destiny 1 if you guys remember that now we move on to subclasses and the best subclass in my opinion for the competitive playlist is the nova warp at least for warlocks you have an op super which is extremely hard to shut down you have a grenade that can one hit and you have a melee that can hit for 160 plus damage, what else could you possibly want in a subclass? Now for jumps, I recommend either using Burst Glide or Blink. You can get away with using both, but I would highly recommend Burst Glide. Blink is useful to get out of sticky situations, but sometimes it can backfire on you. Now for class abilities, obviously this is a no-brainer and that's the Healing Rift. Now for the grenades, I have no problem with any of them except Scatter Grenade. You can get away with using Vortex or Axion Bolt. Now the other subclass I recommend on the Warlock is the Dawnblade, specifically the bottom tree. Now the reason for this is because the projectiles track your enemies and if you get kills with it, it extends the duration of your super. Oh, and what else? This is the quickest super in the game. Now for jumping, I recommend Burst Glide and for the class ability Healing Rift, just like the Nova Warp. For grenades, you can use the Solar Grenade or the Firebolt Grenade. Now the Firebolt grenade is great for tagging multiple enemies and the solar grenade is great for holding down objectives. I don't recommend using the stormcaller simply because the nova warp is way too good and the bottom tree dawnblade is also really good so why would you use a super that's not as great and a neutral game that's not as great it doesn't make sense to me now for armor i had to switch to my hunter because my hunter is my most used character and my warlock and my titan don't have the best armor pieces in the world so yeah now my armor pieces are centralized around getting my super as quickly as possible and the use of my shotgun and rocket launcher now i do have a couple armor perks that you can get away without using i have kinetic weapon targeting on my helmet which simply gives me more aim assist on my primary weapon. I also have unflinching kinetic aim on my chest piece, which gives me less flinch on my kinetic weapon. Honestly, I wouldn't really worry too much about the chest piece because it has trash perks, so don't even really worry about the chest piece. Now, my stompies aren't the best. I would substitute hand cannon dexterity for shotgun dexterity again to synergize with my use of the shotgun and my cloak here has recuperation which just allows me to regenerate my health instantly when I pick up an orb 
And I also have a rocket launcher scavenger for my ward cliff coil just to get an extra shot. Honestly, it doesn't really matter what subclass you are. These are probably the best choices for armor pieces. Honestly, I just recommend having armor pieces that synergize with each other so if you like using a sniper have armor pieces that have perks that go along with sniper usage or rocket launcher usage or grenade launcher usage use anything that just synergizes with each other that's the whole point of it now the best super for hunters is probably the blade barrage because it's extremely effective at shutting down other supers and you give a lot of orbs of light to your teammates now for titans, I recommend using the sentinel and more specifically the top tree. For grenades, I recommend using suppressor grenade because you can shut down other supers. And for the class ability, I recommend the towering barricade. For jumps, I recommend using strafe, but I see people using catapult as well. You can also use the striker, more specifically the top tree and the middle tree because they have great supers and great neutral games. Now the grenade, I recommend using a pulse grenade, but you can also get away with using a flashbang. Class ability and the jump still remains the same as the sentinel. Now I didn't show it in my video, but the top tree sunbreaker is great at getting super kills. So don't sleep on that one. Now I'm going to give you guys a list on the best exotics for each class. I know I've been talking for quite some time, so I'm going to give you guys a little break. Well anyways guys, that concludes this video. Our next video is going to be on positioning in the competitive playlist. We recently hit 500 subs and we can't thank you enough for the amount of support that you guys have been feeding us lately. So I hope you guys learned something new today and if you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you all in the next video.